Okay, today's video, we're going to get into what exactly you can do with these thought leader ads on LinkedIn to make money. And I'm going to give you real examples of the exact ad copy, flow, and so forth that you're going to be able to use with this that we're using to make money for our own company as well. So you have a literal map to use these ads to start making money for your company right away. There are a few companies I can't actually use this strategy, but for the most of you, 80, 90% of you guys, you're gonna be able to use it just strictly from the standpoint that on LinkedIn, people wanna be able to see the results that other companies that you're working with or people, what you're doing, what you're getting, because that's what you're ultimately on LinkedIn to see content like that about. Sometimes you can't actually talk about the results you're getting, which that in and itself is where you can't use the strategy, but for everybody else, this is good. And even if you can't usually share the results, there's a specific way around that for most people on top of that that I'm also going to share with you. Uh, if, if, the, if the results you get is a little bit sensitive and people that you work with don't like to sh have you share their results. But obviously not everybody you work with is also usually not afraid to share your results. You don't have to you got somebody where you could talk about the results. Anyway, this is better than sharing a regular old case study or whatnot or testimonial. Why? Because these thought leader ads make it a lot, the results that you provide or end result you provide to your customers, clients, whatever, is a lot more believable when it comes from them. Or the second best thing, which is people that work at your company are saying about the other company that or person that got the results that works with that company or person directly. In other words, if you have a let's say an example, a company that has uh, that does personal training, you got personal trainers that you hire. Of course, you could say your personal training company got results for an individual person. They lost this weight. They get they built this muscle, whatever. Or you could have the person who worked with that person directly, the individual personal trainer, talk about their results and experience they had with that particular person and have them share it. Having them specifically share it, not your company, but them, is gonna make the whole thing a lot more believable. Also from the standpoint that the fact that they're communicating with that person directly and that person can then see that what you know, you're know you saying, hey, you know, you got great results, whatever, that person can dispute those results, makes it even more believable and almost as good as if the person that you worked with or the company you work with shared the results you got for them themselves and you could advertise that post that they did about your company and about the results you provide. So I'm gonna, though, I'm sure this is a little bit cloudy as to how I'm explaining it. I will explain the exact strategy we used for a company that revise, you know, looks at your bills and everything and, and consolidates your, your, not only your bills, but negotiates with, you know, like the telephone company to get you a lesser rate on the, you know, the charges, monthly charges you're being charged, negotiates new contracts with suppliers, vendors, so on and so forth. And uh, that's all they do. And it can get you a cash savings in your business on your fixed costs that you basically have and save you, you know, tens of thousands of dollars a year doing it and takes a cut out of the savings they actually get you as a company which is something, by, by the way, anybody should actually do because there's so many different things you could save money on if you just renegotiated your contracts a lot of times. To an extent, obviously, in the situations that you're working with a marketing company, you don't want to chisel them down on the price. They're just going to simply do less work for you. But uh, in, if they either have to deliver it all or nothing, then, of course, you should negotiate those contracts. So anyway, with that said, I'll explain this method and then why it works, how much it works, which I'll give you the results that we got doing this specifically, and you'll have everything you need to do this yourself. So if you were wondering what to do with this new ad type, we found a repeatable way to use this new ad type to make money or more money than you're making now with your LinkedIn ads every time you are to deploy this method. This is about as sure thing as you can to get more results out of LinkedIn ads. This is about a sure thing you, with as far as LinkedIn ads you can do to get you a better return. So with that said, <clears throat> here is the exact system that we're using to with the thought leader ads to make more money 
for the companies and campaigns that we're managing. So the first step of which isn't really exactly a step, but we'll just call it a step. Find a company or person that you're working with, depending if you're doing business to business sales or business to consumer sales, that you got great results for. With that, once you have a company in mind that if you know the rest of the people you wanna do with, knew about the results of this particular company or person, take those results and you're gonna advertise those results. Not in the form of a regular case study, but in the form of, it's like a, hit, a, a case study, but it's a hidden case study that doesn't look so self-promotional and therefore it's more believable, gets you more results. So once you know who you, whose results you wanna share, you're gonna have the account manager, best if it's a girl, or a person who managed the relationship with that company or person, make a post just like this. So in other words, let's say you have a marketing company and you usually at a marketing company have an account manager who deals with the person at the company you're working for to maintain that relationship. So there'll be somebody at the company that's assigned to manage the marketing company and there'll be somebody at the marketing company assigned to work with that person directly to ultimately transfer information about the company's goals to the staff that actually do the work, okay? So, in which in the marketing space, it's called an account manager. And so what you're doing is you're gonna advise this account manager that works for you right now to share a structured post here, which once they share it, you can use that share to then advertise it. And so instead of advertising something using your LinkedIn ads, your account yourself, which looks very, you know, you, it's, people are skeptical about what you're saying because it's self-promotional. You're actually promoting what the person at your company is saying, which makes it more believable. People won't have their guards up as much. And the, cause the, you know, with the thought leader ads, you can't tell unless you look very closely at the post that it's an actual ad. It just looks like a post from the person at the company, which doesn't have people's, people don't have their guards up when they're looking at it or a filter or whatever or whatnot. So anyway, what you tell the, you know, with the example I'm sharing with you here, the marketing company, which really we did this for the company that helps you save on your company's bills and stuff, but in either case, it's the same thing. And just to simplify this, I'll switch over to the actual company that, you know, helps you save on your, your, your monthly bills and stuff like that. We, cause that we did for sure do it in that space. We didn't do it for the marketing company, but anyway. So when we had the person that worked with the company that got the great results, if you will, we had them share a post that says, I'm just sharing that XYZ Co, or you know, basically insert the name of the company in which we got the company the results, is great is a great company to work with and thank thank them, want to thank them for being so kind to us. And then furthermore, the post says they have received forty thousand dollars in cash savings doing our program and did really well because of how determined they were as a company. So you're talking this company up, right? And then finally it also said, I have prepared a slideshow sharing our experience we had with them. So it reads like, when you're starting to read this, you're just thinking this is an organic post for sure. Like there, this isn't like a ploy to get them as a customer, which makes, you know, it brings down the, their, their guard is not up. And then, but it's a, so it's a guised sales pitch that you can do with the thought leader ad format. And then the, the, so you say, I've prepared a slideshow sharing our experience with them. That slideshow talks about, you know, in the voice of that account manager who deals with the company or the person that, you know, that was dealing with this company directly to manage the so-called relationship with them. It talks about in that person's voice, the account manager's voice, how we help them. So it's, it's like a case study, but it's not a case study that came from the company. It's a mini case study that came from the person who manages the relationship with that particular company that, or client, if you want to call it client, that got the 40K in cash savings and the, all those results. So they end up going into seeing this case study, not even realizing this is a case study or you know a pitch to get them as a customer or client, if you will. 
So this could be done for basically any company as long as you know you could share the results that your customers or clients get without them freaking out. I wish we could do this in our marketing space directly because I, you know, on this channel all the time, I talk about the results we get for companies, but we can't say who the company is exactly because almost nobody will give us the permission to talk about the results that we're getting for them, which is, by the way, why I want to start working with companies and for people on this channel that we can work for free for them in trade for being able to actually document everything we're doing for them so people have something of real examples of how to deploy the methods that we're doing at our company. And even then, people still wouldn't want to take the free work because the last thing people want to do in the marketing, in advertising, specifically the advertising space, is to have their competitor see how something that they're doing works so then they could copy it. Or ultimately, you're, you're just, there's no good outcome there. So anyway, if you could share the results, you're really good. But even if you, people that you work with are kind of sensitive about you sharing the results, this actually makes sure the person that, whose results you're sharing gets something out of it too because as soon as the account manager shares this little script here for, for the post, you can immediately start to advertise that post to the thought leader ads. And so, because right away it's getting a lot of traction, it's getting a lot of reactions there on the post, you know, and comments and so forth. By time the company in which you're sharing the results that you got for them, see it, A, they right away see that they're getting a lot of free uh, marketing because this thing's got a ton of reactions. And then B, which is almost basically more important than A, the, going back to what I said before, best if this is a girl, the reason why, by the way, account managers are usually women, particularly in our marketing space, is because you can't, get super pissed and yell at a girl. So if your company does really shitty results, which most of the marketing companies do this, they get a girl to, enter, to, to show the results that they're getting to the client so that the client gets pissed about the results, they feel bad to, to take it out on this girl whose not job it is to get results. So <laughs> as it applies to this, of course if you are pissed at this account manager for sharing the results you got for them, you'd be reluctant to just take it out on this girl, given all she was trying to do was just be nice, so to say. And they don't realize necessarily that it was a roundabout way to run a case study on that company, if you will, and use that case study to sell other people, if you will. So um, anyway, that's the full method. So it's not that complicated at all. Just find somebody who got great results have somebody who worked with that company directly, your employee that worked with that company, share in their own voice on their own LinkedIn that you, they, they thank them for the relationship and how nice they've been and that they, you know, they've been a great client and because of that they've gotten great results and you know, I shared you know, my relationship with them and how that went ultimately on this slideshow. People who see this post they're going to totally be faked out by it. They're going to think, you know, this is interesting. I wonder what the hell this company did to where they got, they saved $40,000 with the results. And they're going to go look at the post and they still ain't going to know, even after seeing the little slideshow that you can take them to, that it's even a promo, promo or pitch at all. So then they see how this company saved 40 grand and now they're thinking, I want to do the same thing. And of course, if they can't do it themselves, the first thing they're going to do is go look at what this, the, the company that this account manager works at, what they do. And then now they're in, they're in the fold, so to say. So it, it's a way to get people interested in your company without going directly at them, which when you go directly at them, they're super skeptical. What somebody else says about you is at least four times as powerful as what you could say about yourself. So, whereas you can't always get people to talk about, well, uh, uh, talk positively about you directly, this is as close as it to basically as you can get because the thought leader ads don't look like ads. And when you have an employee share something without making the, saying the words case study, 
and wording it the way that I said here, they don't even think that it's an ad at all. So basically that's the method right there. Now, as far as the results go, okay, we were running already case study ads for this company. We did actually two different types of ads for this company that help people save on their bills and renegotiate the contracts that they had with their vendors and so forth. And one of which is a look, strategy we use quite often now, which is you run an ad basically, which I've made videos about this already, where you say, how would you like to make, get a $15 uh, gift card to Starbucks? All we need is 15 minutes of your time. If you would, if, if, if yes, simply reply, yes, I'd like the free gift card. And then you basically have the sales person pitch them the person who says yes for 15 minutes on the service and you get sales that way. And then obviously you have to give people a gift card that don't buy, but what you'll find if you have a good offer, a lot of times is at least 10% of those people you get a 15 minute slot with in a closed room per se or a Zoom call, they can make a sale. So, you know, having to give out $150 with the gift cards to get a sale when you could sell a, uh, something that where you're going to make, you know, 20 grand on, that's a fantastic ROI. But it only gets so many people. You'd be surprised how many ri rich, cheap people out there would take that $15 gift card, even though they're already rich. So don't take, you know, don't think you can't get affluent people to take that offer, offer but still it's not going to be everybody. Which is why usually when you run an ad campaign, you want to go at people at least you know, when you're doing display ads to try to get in front of people, interruption based marketing, you want to go at it with different angles. If this angle doesn't work, let's get them with this angle. If this angle doesn't work, let's get them with this angle. So we can say the gift card thing, that gets a certain percentage of people to respond. So then we can get them into our funnel and then have other ads show up from later on. But then that doesn't work, let's hit them with a case study. Maybe the case study will get their attention. Whereas you know, basically some people aren't going to care about the case study, but they, they want the gift card and they buy and they take credence to stuff that's told to them in person, which, so it just, you know, each one would work on different people where you'd only get half the sales if you only used one approach. So um, anyway, as far as the case study ads go to cold audiences, which we were just showing it to people saying, hey, how would you like to be able to save $40,000 in your business every year through uh, um, a repeatable system that you know, our company provides? XYZ company got, did, got just that done, and here's the case study that explains how we did it. So we had an ad like that going, but that ad compared to this system here with the thought leader ads, where we disguise the case study ad as far as, as an organic post by some employee that works at the company, which effectively advertises the same thing, got more results. And which kind of seems illogical because with the organic post, we can't say right away, we offer a service that's going to get you $40,000 of results. So you think that that angle itself with the case study ad that I told you just a second ago, how that works would do better because it would get your attention right away more. But the reality is because just the fact that they see an ad, most people are, are going to ignore it. Because as people are scrolling down their LinkedIn news feed, guess what they do? Just like on Facebook, if they, their brain is trained to say, is this an ad? Yes. Okay. Ignore. Is this an ad? Yes. Ignore. And every time your ad shows up on LinkedIn, you're paying. Yes. They say you're only paying per click, but guess what? If your click through rate on your ad goes lower, your cost per click on the ad goes higher. So people are a lot more inclined to look at your post when your post looks like an organic post. That's why it's going to be more profitable. 240% more profitable, in fact, doing this way of doing the, of advertising a case study versus coming right out in the open saying, here's a case study where we got somebody results, look at our case study. So it literally increased the ROI of our case study ads to a cold audience by over 240% sharing a case study in the form of what looks like an organic post from our account manager that worked at that cost savings company that we used it for. And you, so we could keep, get a much, much higher so-called compliance rate of people looking at our post and then 
get, you know, looking through, through the case study. And by the time we got them to look at the case study, we almost, we basically got them. We, it's like, what can you do to get people to read your case study at a higher rate? That's really what it's about. And that's what you should be thinking about. Because if they do that, you know, we got a 50-50 chance they'll be interested in our service at that point. Because the case study is written well and everybody wants those results if they could get them. And if you read through the case study and it's written right, you pretty much are going to believe that you can get those results at that point in time. What can we do to get a higher compliance rate of people that see the information about the case study to get through the case study? And this gets a higher compliance rate of people getting through the case study per time your ad shown than going right at them directly saying, here's a case study, read it. No matter what you say, basically. Because we did the case study ads. We're not no novice to advertise a case study. It's just this way of framing the case study is a, gets through, gets, gets past the, uh, get, it flies under the radar of the people, the radar people have to see if they need to be paying, taking something seriously. Well, it flies under their ad radar where, you know, they're trying to determine if something can be believed or not because it's, they're, there's um, a conflict of interest. Of course, someone's trying to sell me something is gonna be more likely a lie than somebody that has no financial interest in doing so. So anyway, with that said, you understand, I think, the method. Something else to mention about this, you can use this exact method here to advertise to a cold audience, but where it really helps as well, even though it's not as there's not as much scale there, you can't get as many sales overall with it, is in the remarketing. Specifically, so anybody who gets to your, clicks on any of your ads initially that have done, you know, been to your site already, they should definitely get this because this is going to build trust like no other thing that you could basically do. It's, how much better could it get if, you know, the people, you know, because I didn't even mention this yet. As far as that post goes, oh, I did, I guess, it mentioned at the very beginning of this video where, of course, that looks like an organic post and then people know the person that is on the other end, the company that you're sharing the results could re reply back and say, no, you didn't get those results. So the fact that they never replied back saying anything, or maybe they replied back and saying, oh, it, you know, no, you know, thank you for the compliment, you know, account manager, Emily or whatnot. It's basically whether they said something or not, if they didn't say something, it's still basically like an endorsement of our company at that point in time. So in order to convince people to get off the fence and be able, if they're still on the fence of whether they want to do business with you or not, a unsaid, unwritten endorsement using this method here about your company saying, you know, first of all, saying that you get results and then a company then coming back and saying, yes, you did get me those results. And therefore, you know, they're saying, thank you for those results. That doesn't get any better to shake people off the fence and get people to believe what you're saying that it, it works and they'll do and to do business want to do business with you because the biggest reason why most companies can't sell to the people they're trying to sell to is because they simply don't believe what you say you can do for them will work for them you could say it works for some people but they say well i don't know if it'll work for me and these endorsements here are you know that is the most believable thing that you can do to get them to believe what you're saying can work for them that is basically available. And then uh, uh, it's even more so and, and amplified even more if you get several of these going to where they see one and then another one and another one and another one just like that. It's gonna be obviously a little weird if they start seeing 15 of these, but I would say two to three would be definitely where I would go with this. Space it out so the post doesn't, doesn't look like it's done in a row, but do one, wait three months, do another one, wait three months, do another one. And then ultimately they should see all of those if they've been to the site before, because that's basically undeniable. One of those companies or people will be somewhat similar to the prospect that you're trying to sell that's on the fence. And you'll end up getting a sale at a much higher rate from that person or company when you actually do have them see all those individual unsaid, unwritten endorsements that this particular post type will create for your business. So that's it. I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope you use it. It makes a ton of money, of course. If you have any questions about anything I shared here, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days' time. Feel free to ask me any question related to ads. I like to be able to help my viewers out that watch you know, my channel. 
Uh, beyond that, I also, by the way, have a blog. If you like the channel, you should subscribe and then also check out my blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog as if you like the channel, you'll love my blog as well. It's my personal writing. If you like the video, you should also consider helping us out by giving it a like. I really appreciate that for the time and effort I use to uh, advertise the results that we're getting for our clients that work and that we guarantee how to get, that we use to guarantee our clients' results. At our firm, this is actually what we do. We, if we work with a client, we guarantee that client so much sales results in addition to what they already have or that their campaign will be, if we start out from scratch, it'll become profitable and don't charge any fees until we do that. So if you're interested in some, you know, getting that kind of a working relationship together with myself personally, reach out to my firm at guaranteeppc.com. I'd be happy to look at your stuff. We certainly don't work with just any client, but if you have something that's really, you know, looks like it's a really a, a hit and all it needs is just some good ads, I'd love to be able to work with you and take fees once you're starting to be successful already past what we're, whatever we are gonna need to charge to be able to work together or even just take a percentage of your sales growth at your company, which is what we're starting to do more and more with our clients here at my agency. So, and furthermore, by the way, if you are in an industry where we got results already, even if you don't want to work with myself or you know an ad agency like mine long term, you can actually get the results we've gotten for your market already. You know, we've got campaign templates that work for dozens of markets, and if you, we've already done the hard work for you in that market that you're in already it'd be silly not to take the campaign templates we have for your market and not use them in your own, your own account. You can literally copy and paste the results into your account and get the same results we've gotten already for your market already. If you do that and we sell it for a few grand, uh, which anybody could obviously afford that are, that's gonna be running ads, with, especially with the results it gets. So we can tell you what the results are for your market that we've got, for past client that we've managed ads in that market, same market as well, before you even you know, would start or, or whatnot. So, Anyway, if you're interested in that as well, you can reach out and I'll let you know what results we got in your market, if we've gotten it in your market already. Uh, either way, um, no matter what, if you do reach out, I'll give you a, a free strategy session. If we work together or not, that's irrelevant. You'll still get a personal advice from myself on what I would do if I were you marketing your business with ads online which is invaluable advice you can use to get to the next stage in your business, regardless of whether or not we actually work together or not. So be happy to hear from you and you will get that anyway, because I, I, I offer that to anybody else who reaches out to me at my website or and at my firm site. So that's it, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.